Hey YouTube, Tom here and I am here with the full review of the ZTE Grand X Max 2. Now a lot of you have been looking forward to this as a, as I have been. It looks like a great phone. Uh, specs are awesome on this phone, but it turns out that I am not very happy with this phone. And it, it, it really is a disappointment because for the price and uh, for what you get there's a lot to like, but there are some things that have uh, been real deal breakers for me. And uh, I had to let you guys know, and um, as soon as this video is done recording, I am going to try to go through the return process of getting rid of this phone. If not, I'm going to have to try to sell it on swap and lose out. But um, just let's get into it real quick. Um, one of the great things about this phone is when you first get it out of the packaging is it really is nice looking. All these greasiness here but it's a real nice looking phone with uh, the blue uh, kind of grid pattern on it and uh, when you see it it's very reminiscent of the Samsung Galaxy line right now and uh, it's a very attractive phone um, if you watched the unboxing video you'd see me talk about the fingerprints and and the scratches that it picked up immediately and it, that's still the case like it, I find it funny that this is so uh, greased up because uh, I've been using it in a case. So that this, in the few seconds that I've been playing around without it in the case, it's uh, got up that much. And uh, let's touch on the cases real quick here. Cricut offers two. Amazon really hasn't started to roll out too many. There is a few, but none that I was really interested in. One case was excellent. One case was garbage. Uh, first of all, this is uh, the, the protective case they offer with the kickstand and it's you know your typical two-piece case it's very uh, I like the finish on it it's a rubberized finish even on the hard plastic part of it and uh, the kickstand it's very feels very secure it's even hard to get out but uh, it's more secure than a few of the cheaper ones I've gotten from China but uh, keep in mind massive phone I mean people complained about the Nexus 6 being big and it's actually a little bit bigger and way taller than the Nexus 6. So you throw it into a case like this, you know, because you want to protect it. It's a slippery phone as well with all this glossy, smooth edges and such. It's a very slippery phone, so this adds grip and it adds that protection, but it also makes it even wider and, you know, just holding it in your hand and uh, going, going through, uh, you know, your day-to-day -day motions can actually really um it can become uncomfortable to uh to wield uh the other case they offer is this thin pc shield which you would think maybe that would be the, the better option to go with it's actually pretty horrible in my opinion it's, it sells for 20 bucks on cricket it's not worth 20 cents i could snap this in my hands easily uh it's really thin cheap material uh, you think this would add grip because of the diamond pattern it's as slippery as the plastic on the phone itself and uh, the only thing it would do is probably helps keep it from getting scratched up that's it and you might say well that's what you should know it is I have a similar one for the Motorola Nexus 6 that is uh, way better it's made of better material it actually has extra uh, plastic on the side so that you can face it down when this is on the phone you're there is no lip on it so this is garbage I would I would totally say uh, skip this if you need to feel a, to get a case go with the, the, the more protective case or just wait a bit and get something off Amazon because you could get them cheaper and I don't feel like this is so fantastic that you should spend the premium that Cricut gets for its cases but uh, on to the phone itself um here it opened up the camera by mistake but uh... phone itself when you first turn it on the screen is beautiful i have to give it that it's a beautiful screen unlock it here and uh... i'll show you with uh... some better background pictures go down here right now i'm running it on the google now launcher because i was trying to fix a problem that i will describe in a bit but look at that it's hard to probably pick up on the camera but the screen is pretty amazing. Colors are accurate. Everything pops. Another thing that when I first turned it on reminded me of the Samsung line. And it's hard to believe that this actual phone is only $200. But I soon learned where some corners were cut. And uh, you know what? Since I've been kind of beating around the bush, I'll get into what I do not like. 
Okay, first of all, I had a user uh, comment on my unboxing video, does your left speaker not work? And I was like, oh, of course it works. I mean, brand new phone, it, that's why it's there. When testing out music, I learned that only music came out of this side. And the music that you get from the, uh, it's not bad, but it's nothing fantastic, but listen. All the music comes out of one side. And it, I find this funny on a phone that has Dolby digital sound and everything, that they only gave us one speaker. You might be saying, well, maybe uh, we have a defective speaker. With talking with someone in the ZTE community about the other problems I was having, I learned that this is actually where the microphone is housed. So they want to make it look like you have stereo speaker sound, when really all this is, is housing the microphone for when you're speaking. So that's kind of a letdown. A uh, big plus for this phone is USB Type-C. I mean, there are flagships, only a handful of flagships out right now that have this new technology, and uh, I really got to give it to them for including it on this phone. It does fast charge, and it is pretty nice not having to flip the uh, cord over to try to get it in because it fits either way, USB Type-C. But uh, another big thing that made this phone not usable for me Bluetooth. It's been here or there, but I've been having the craziest experience with it in my car. It's a Ford Sync system in my car. I mean, it's a system that is in hundreds of thousands of cars in the U.S., but uh, I pair it to it, and it skips like a CD player. And I, not only does it skip and drop out, but when it comes back, it'll play three times quicker than it should. And it's worked with streaming music, it's worked with stuff on my memory card. I've tried, like, the reason I'm running Google Launcher was a last-ditch effort today to see if maybe it was something with ZTE's launcher that was uh, getting in the way. But no, nothing I've tried. I've reached out to ZTE, and they give you the canned responses about, did you try turning it off and turning it back on? And uh, nothing has helped. And it actually got bad, so bad one night that it was skipping and fast-forwarding and that's all it was doing. It, it didn't even sound like music. Uh, you know, even if you're not a person that uses music in your car, I have a trip coming up where I've never been to this place before, so I'm going to need my GPS. And if I have my don't have Bluetooth, I'm not going to be able to navigate, that actually becomes a hazard. So, it was a big problem and no matter what we tried, we could not get it to work. Um, and it's sad because it, it, one night it did work for a good three four songs and it was some of the best sounding music i've had come through my bluetooth system and it must be because of the dolby digital that they have on here but um really i i, I just very uh disappointed in that and probably the last thing i mean i wanted to do a full review show you guys exactly what you know this phone has to offer but i don't want to get too much into it because it's so disappointing i can't recommend this to anyone because Another thing that happened to me is when I started up with this phone, um, I had my memory card and everything in there, and uh, I started downloading music, plugged it in, put it down, looked over, wanted to look at something, went to put on the phone again, and um, what happened was it had turned off. And after it turned off, I had to turn it back on, and it had corrupted my Samsung fairly new memory card. 32 gigabytes out the window. Couldn't even repair it inside of a computer. So uh, very disappointing. Had to run out, spend more money. So I lost money, had to spend more money. And uh, it, it worked. Thank God it hasn't tried out this memory card. But I mean, that shouldn't have happened in the first place. I, and I, I feel like I didn't do anything wrong because I've been you know into phones long enough that nothing I did was wrong and I've experienced you know stuttering with this phone even though it's got a fast processor and I've also experienced random restarts and I think it was that random restart and that uh, destroyed my memory card so not only am I did I get a, a phone that is only working here or there it, it destroyed property of mine and it caused me more money so that this budget phone isn't so much of a budget anymore uh, I'll take you quick through what the, the standard launcher looks like. It's very uh, vanilla. It looks a lot like what you would see on a Nexus device. Um, even in the settings menus, it looks a, a lot the same. You have your pull-downs, you have your transitions for wallpapers. 
I mean, pretty much basic, which is surprising to me how, how uh, the performance issues it has and such. But, um, yeah, it, it, it's pretty basic. Um, neat thing is these glowing lights at the bottom that replace your back, home, and multitask key. And uh, it's nice, you, they, it blinks when you have a notification, and it, it's a nice little gimmicky thing, but on a phone that I'm so disappointed in, it's hard to get excited about three blue lights. Camera-wise, too, I was going to uh, share some photos with you guys in this review, but again, there was nothing horrible about them, but nothing special either. And I, I want to keep this review as short as possible, but um, there wasn't really anything special. I mean... It's better than what the Grand X Max was. But, um, oh yeah, I had to, one of the things they told me to do was soft restart, so all the pictures I took are gone anyways. So, um, yeah, um, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, I personally, like I said, I'm going to try to return this phone. I, I, I really wanted to like it. I was even going to let it go that it had destroyed a memory card, and I, I was going to, uh, you know, eat that. But, uh, and I was going to live with the, the so-so photos. I mean, uh, if you do get this phone, never shoot in HDR mode. For some reason, it takes forever and the photos are blown out. If you want to get the best pictures out of this phone, you're going to have to just go with normal mode or, uh, you know, look and, look and do it the other way. Um, like I said, I, I, I really i am not motivated to do a full review on this because it has been such a disappointment. And, uh, you know, I expected a lot more and... Uh, if you're hoping for uh, an update to come and resolve some of these issues that I've, I've spoke about, don't bet on it. I mean, we're on a prepaid carrier with this phone, so we often don't see uh, updates. And it's even less likely on a company like ZTE on a non-flagship. So if you're expecting that, I, I mean, no. Uh, me personally, I, I'm kind of soured on the whole tr getting these phones, you know. you. You expect to, you know, be getting a deal and really you kind of get ripped off. And I, I, I'm not, I spent the money on two cases. I spent $60 in memory cards at least for, for having to replace it. And I'm not going to get anywhere near, but even if I tried to sell this, I'll never get anything near. So I'm, I'm actually in the hole. So um, me personally, I've seen that the Nexus 6P is on sale. And, you know, it, yeah, it's more expensive, but I'm going to pull the trigger on that one. Because at least I know pure Android works for me. Um, but uh, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and comment, and I'll respond to any of the uh, concerns or questions you have. But yeah, it, it, if you've been thinking about this phone, take a hard look. If, if you need your basic, you could probably get away with, uh, with this phone. But I mean, Bluetooth, camera, and, and random restarts. I just cannot wholeheartedly tell you guys to go out and pick up this phone. I would even recommend probably the LG Stylo, even though on paper it's a, a lesser phone. LG, at least when I had the Stylo 1, it wasn't anything special, but everything worked. So if you have to get a Cricut branded phone, go that direction. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll talk to you guys later.